what in the world? Look how big it is. Back out on Lake Mayor. It's been a few weeks since we've been out here. If you guys know anything about it, it can be tough on you, but let me tell you, the weather the last like four days has been super consistent. It's just beautiful outside. I think the high today is gonna be 80, which is crazy knowing that we had all that cold weather and now it's starting to warm up. I'm assuming the fishing's gonna get really good here soon. So we're gonna be doing some hunting out here on Lake Mayor, cover a lot of water. There's already, I believe, two or three boats out here, um, one or two kayaks, and a couple of people fishing off the bank. Met a few supporters over there to the channel. If you guys ever see me in public, come up, say hey. I, I really appreciate that. More importantly, I appreciate everybody watching support as well. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. I got about five rods on deck, which we'll talk about them here in a moment. But let's just get to casting, see if we can catch some fish, see if we have some that are pushed really shallow, getting ready to bed. I'm curious about that. I don't even know what the water temp is yet, so we're gonna check that out as well. Let's get started. See that turtle? Yeah. Now there's even beds. I don't know if you see. Yeah, all here in like seven, eight. Dude, he just opened his mouth, put it in his mouth, and I pulled it right out. Yeah, he's right there on bed. Watch, he's gonna eat it right here. Yep. There we go. Right on bed. Let's go. Get in there. Oh, calm down, Jimmy. Oh, calm down, Jimmy. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. First fish today. Does that feel good right there to catch them off bed it's been a little struggle there's a bunch of boats out here the one thing about lake mayor is finding the right spots to catch the fish not only that but these boats have already hit everything so we're going behind the people trying to catch them right on play very finesse i happened to see a few fish on bed saw like a four pounder roaming around this patch went down the bank saw like a four or five pounder on bed and saw another one that was about this size and uh, we we're coming down just really right past his bed had him thump it Threw back in there, fish ate it. Nothing big, but pretty fish. Catch them on bed, that's just, it's a lot of fun right there. Get this pretty girl back in the water. That's a start right there. What you think, brother? Oh yeah. That's a start. Well, there we go, guys, that's our first fish. It's warm weather's finally coming in. These fish are finally pushing up. We got some beds along this grass up here, and uh, it's hard to see really anything. If I didn't feel that fish bite me, probably wouldn't have caught them so you have these beds that are pushed up really shallow on the grass you also have beds that are about six foot of water off the bank so it might be a good idea for us to start kind of throwing in front of the boat like this and drag it back before we get on top of the fish but i kind of want to stay close to the bank just because i'm looking at some of those beds and that's four fish that we've seen up shallow we were fishing for about an hour we really didn't see much then all of a sudden we just saw boom 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 and next thing you know, caught the first bed fish. So it's a good little sign. There's a big bed right there. It's just kind of hard to see. We just got to outsmart these fish. Because our, our problem right now is these fish have seen all these other boats. So that means we got to fish 10 times better than those other guys that already went through here. Oh, big in. Two big ones on bed. Dude, he's freaking huge, Cody. Look how big he is. He's like six pounds, seven pounds. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. Oh my God, he's huge. There was two on bed, bro. He's swimming off right here. There's One's about four and one's about five, six pounds. They're, they're cruising somewhere right here. But their bed, oh, he's right there. That's, that's like a three pounder. But the big one, 
I don't know where he went, but they're both on bed. So I'm gonna see if I can entice them to come back. I'm gonna tell you right now, that big one was no less than six pounds. Freaking huge. I had my flipping rig and I just put it in front of his nose. I thought he was gonna eat it. That would have been insane. Look, you see that? Look at him right there. It's about three. He's coming up to the bed right now. He's actually looking at me. The big one's pulling up now. Oh my God, he hit me right there. I saw this teeth around it. Right when we backed off, that big one pushed back up. Oh my God. I just hit it off his tail. I think we we might be able to catch these, dude. I'm gonna spend some time right here. That's 10 pounds of fish right there, this two bass. Yeah, he just swam across it again. I just can't see too well, that's my problem. He's right on me. Oh, he's right on me. Oh my God, he might eat it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Dude, he's interested. Like I haven't seen any of these fish interested. And these are big too. Like if we can get that male to bite, throw him in the live well for two seconds and let that female get on the bed, we might be able to catch both of them. We'll release them. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get a better angle to where I can see. I don't know where this big one went. He has to be under our boat somewhere. I'm like right on that bed. I'm just trying to think of what I can do to irritate her. Get him a little, get him a little aggressive. Yeah, he just wrapped around it. He keeps looking. I need to like, give this one a little break. Yeah. Um, Sneaker. Right it's right to the left of this. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, we're gonna give this one a little break, dude. That that's uh oh, there he is. See that small one's three pounds, ain't he? Yeah, I think so. He looks like he's three. He's right there swimming. Yeah, that's a three pounder. But that one with him, let me tell you. That damn thing, six, seven pounds. Oh yeah, he's starting to get mad. Oh, did you see that? She just started to chase it right there. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little aggressive with it. Oh, there he goes. Oh. He tried to eat it there. I just pulled it away from him on purpose just to, just to give him a little antsy. Watch this. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's really firing up. Oh. There he is. No. Oh, no. No. Ah, uh, it was a three pounder, right? Hmm. That really upsets me because we're either gonna have to get him to bite again if we're wanting to catch that female or just leave it alone. Oh, I got him too. I was really irritating him. I figured out what I needed to do there. I would just reel it up on that bed super fast, just aggressive, and he would just he was just starting to get, you could tell the bass's movement. He was starting to get irritated. He was starting to get aggressive. He's starting to fire up how a bass usually does. Oh. He just did not have it all the way. I guess he didn't have the hook. Yeah, he came all the way out of the water. Oh, he's there. Oh my God, he's gonna eat it again. No, I swear, his, his nose is on it. Love your channel. I appreciate it, bro, thank yeah, you. Man, you caught anything yet? Dude, just lost, there's actually a, a, three, a three and a seven pounder that was on bed. Wow. Se seven pounder just kind of pushed off and uh, I was trying to catch the male, which is the three pounder. Yeah. I just kept making him mad, man. He finally ate it. I just, I had him on and he went and jumped up in the air like two or three foot, came off. Ah, yeah, dude. Bad. We were working on this fish for a minute too. We, uh, I saw him on bed and we went down that bank. We're like, all right, we'll come back. And I yeah. finally, finally got him to bite. He just came off. Oh, but the big one, dude, he's a monster. monster. I, I don't see him anymore, but usually if you can catch the male first, you can catch the female, but. I appreciate the support though, man. That means a lot. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Yeah. But, uh, okay, good luck 
luck, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Oh, there's one right here, Cody. Nice one. I don't know. I can barely see him. It's super. Got him? Yeah. A little tiny guy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I handed you this. That's why you handed me this rod, right? Like, yeah. You need to throw the tech Look at that. Okay. Squeaker. But hey, I'm fine with that. After losing that fish, we got to go get redemption, but we got to catch a few before that. Guys, I don't know if you can see that huge, like, white carp. It's stuck on something. Look that, at that thing. Is it wrapped around? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, you can see it on the GoPro. Dude, that's crazy. That's a big one. It's like white. I know. Yeah. Oh, he's got me. Got him right there. Nice, dude. It's a good one, too. He's fighting hard. There's no way. No way that fish just came off. Man, we're just having a day. Let me tell you guys, today has been a tough day. Oh, but sometimes, you know, you get out on the water. And, it, you know, it's not going to go the way you expect it every single time. That's one thing that, you know, we got to understand. It's just aggravating when you miss fish like that. Like, we've hooked two good ones today, and they've just happened to come off. That wasn't even, like, a really big one, but he was a high two right there, two-pounder. That one I hooked earlier was three. He's actually on a different bed. I got him to bite. He was, he was on this bed. We came back to the bed that, uh, you know, I lost that fish and had the seven-pounder, and there's another bed right next to it, and... That's where he just came off of. He uh, He's the male. There was a female on that bed earlier that it was about five pounds, six pounds, maybe really big football. But it's just so hard getting these fish to bite. And when you lose an opportunity like that, it irritates you. I mean, look at how many times I had to cast at that one, you know? Oh, that's a good one. Here we go. Please do not come off. Please. He's not even that big, dude. But I got him in the boat. Here we go. Fish number three. Probably should be fish number six or seven, but we've lost a good couple today. Still nothing big. I thought he was a good fish, but still a beautiful bass. It's just fun to catch him. And uh, these bites are very hard, man. You don't get them too often. We're seeing some fish on the bank. This is the first fish today that I actually casted and had a bite and caught. I had a few bites today, but this one has to be the first. Look at that black spots on his fin too. Right there. Interesting. It's got some black on his lips too. Cool colors on this bass. We're on the road to catch more. We just need a big girl. There she goes. So finicky, dude. Mm. That's the ones we want. Nice. I wouldn't say she's three pounds, but she's pushing high two. You gotta love that right there. That's what bass fishing's all about. Man, what a beautiful fish. She's got this crazy marking right here. It's really shiny. But what a pretty fish. We want to get her back on the bed. That's actually the male. Female was a little bit bigger, but that's a high two pounder right there. We made it happen. Let's go, Cody. Let's go, Cody. Wait, I want to show you guys something too. My chatterbait is actually still on the branch. So you have the bed, then you have this tree branch that goes across. I got the chatterbait snagged, picked up that crawl, flipped up in there, caught that girl. We're going to release her. This is her bed. We want to get her right back in the water so she can swim back right on it. 
There she goes. He's so interested right now. Go. Let's go. Right in the mouth too. They're gonna meet it. Took me a second to catch this beautiful fish, but man, did she roll on that chatterbait or that thunder cricket. Oh man. Bed fishing with thunder crickets. You didn't think you'd see it, but we're watching it happen today. Look at that. There we go. Pretty fish. Solid two number. We're gonna get her right back in the water or get him back in the water. Let him get back on that bed. Let's get this beauty back in. Let her get back on her bed. There he goes. Beautiful. There he goes, buddy. off the day there's a big one this is the this is the male a little tiny squeaker but the big one's probably like five or six pounds that was the most aggressive bass we've seen all day that was still fun to catch a menace in the same summer crawl color they're eating it pretty good well guys i think it is about time for us to pull out of the water your boy is ridiculously sunburnt so your boy's gonna have to get off the water but i hope you guys enjoyed it you have a good day man if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. This was our first day bed fishing in 2021. And let me tell you, there's going to be many more bed fishing days to come. This was a good little taste test. We caught like seven fish. Could have caught over 10. We did lose some good ones, but that is okay. Stay tuned for the upcoming episodes because I know we're going to have some more bed fishing videos coming soon, especially with this heat rolling in. But uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the support. Peace.